we have a really, really exciting day for you today as we look at how Arizonans are transforming health and how together we can drive that transformation. As we come together, we also have to recognize that the communities that we live in, our neighbors are the people that we're helping and our communities and our cities are the ones that are helping us. And so it is my great honor this morning to introduce to you um, the mayor of the city of Scottsdale, Arizona, where we are today, home of the Cure Corridor. Please welcome Mayor Jim Lane. Thank you and good morning, everybody. And I'm going to keep the, uh, the volume up so I don't see any of those heads hitting the table <laughs> and we don't get inflicted with the, uh, the increased volume on the um, sound system here. <laughs> Obviously, the, the theme of this conference is, is transforming health. As we saw from maybe the statistics that we just uh, went through here just, just before this uh, opening, the opening remarks, it is, it's been an important factor in just about every aspect of not only our life, but our economic health and as far as the country is concerned as well. And it will have far-reaching effects as we continue to transform health. And health transformation is happening every day here in Scottsdale and in our Cure Carter, Scottsdale's Cure Carter. Now that's a geographic designation really for an area that runs east and west from uh, what would be East Shea Boulevard near Fountain Hills all the way to the, uh, to the Scottsdale Air Park on the west side. So it's, it's a general geographic area around that corridor of, of Shea Boulevard. And it's, it has the largest concentration of bio life science businesses that we know of in the state. And this area is, uh, is really one that we have certainly wanted to encourage uh, sort of the clustering of this industry. And, and it has had a degree of, a very high degree of success in that. The bioscience sector is a major driver of innovation, of our innovation economy in the city of Scottsdale and in the state of Arizona. The biomedical healthcare industry in Scottsdale produces two and a half billion dollars worth of direct economic output for us and three and a half billion dollars worth of indirect economic output. Life science uh, innovation follows a path of discovery, development, and delivery. Healthcare leaders, our healthcare leaders in Scottsdale, never stop asking how we can find new solutions for patients and their maladies and medical maladies. For example, we have Regenesis Biomedical. I believe Scott Brooks, the president and uh, CEO, is here with us today. Is one of Scottsdale's most most exciting medical device innovators and is dedicated to improving human welfare through the research, design, manufacture, and sale of energy-based medical products and services that alleviate pain, restore health, and improve the quality of life. And those of you who are in the industry know that in eliminating or alleviating or mitigating pain has a lot to do with the survivability of a lot of maladies, giving time to cure. TD2, where our president and chief scientific officer, Dr. Stephen Gately, and his team assists pharmaceutical companies in the development of new drugs based on the specific molecular profile of individual cancer patients. TD2 has managed and designed hundreds of preclinical and clinical engagements that have measurably improved the drug discovery process in, in one of humans' most complex disease area, and that's cancer, of course. TD2's unique application and approach to patient identification, high throughput, computational chemistry, and advanced genomics and diagnostic data analysis gives the company a distinct and sustainable scientific advantage toward accelerated drug discovery in the fields of oncology and rare diseases. Healthcare delivery in Scottsdale Scottsdale Healthcare, the Mayo, according, anchoring the Cure Corridor, 
bring life-saving and life-sustaining innovations to patients here in Scottsdale and also helping visitors from around the world. I should say medical vacations or I should, uh, uh, yeah, okay, we'll call them medical vacations, but in any case, uh, I don't know how much of a vacation it might end up being, but nevertheless, uh, is, a, is, a, is a significant uh, add to our tourism, our strict tourism industry in the city of Scottsdale. And it's by the virtue of those great uh, health care providers that we have here in Scottsdale and frankly across the valley. Telehealth technologies are enabling improved patient care and improved patient satisfaction both locally and globally with solutions developed and delivered by innovative Scottsdale companies including MeMed and Global Med. Health and wellness are an integral part of Scottsdale's community identity and the accomplishments of the medical and healthcare visionaries working in Scottsdale had the potential to improve and extend the quality of life for millions of people. Certainly, I'm extraordinarily proud, as I can be, of the industry that is represented in this room and, and across Scottsdale and in our Cure Corridor, and to their mission. Now, some people would ask, and I think it was proposed uh, with the opening remarks, what exactly is the city, what is the city's part? What what play do they have in, in, in this industry and in the advancement of that transformation of health care? And I'd like to think that our primary goal is to provide an environment that's conducive to not only attracting that type of industry, but also to facilitate the level of innovation and collaboration to the extent that we can, as partners with our industry, uh, this industry, to make sure that the environment is really one that is innovative and that does provide that transformation in healthcare. And I think we've had a measure of success for that, but our, our city of Scottsdale, as I think it is with most municipalities, is really providing that platform that is going to provide not only a platform, for economic success, but also for that innovation in that transformation of healthcare. And uh, we feel with the Cure Carter and the, some of the facilitation and the connection points that we've had within that, the inventory, if you will, of the businesses in the biomedical and biotechnical field, I think we've played a, a significant role in making sure that it continues to grow in a healthy way, in a collaborative way, in an innovative way. So we're very proud of that, of all of our Scottsdale, the leadership, in, in that industry, in the biotechnical and biomedical industry. And we're also proud of the fact that we have advanced it over the last several years to being one of the primary industries in the city of Scottsdale. In fact, it's probably only second to one of our significant one in, in sheer numbers, but certainly a very different area of things, and that's tourism. But tourism has provided us with a great environment, really, for just to, to live and work. So it's, uh, they, they are very compatible with one another and we're very proud of, of both of them. Now in my official capacity, I certainly don't want to, I know that I extended a personal invitation to Mayor Lewis of Gilbert to, to let him make sure that he was comfortable here in the city of Scottsdale, but I know he's here with you today. And I did, uh, well, now publicly, John, I wanted to make sure that I did personally invite you and, and certainly uh, uh, to extend a welcome to you here in Scottsdale. John's a good friend and a great mayor, city of Gilbert. But thank you, John, for being here. And I want to certainly thank the AZ Bio uh, for being here with your expo. And it's great to have you all here in Scottsdale. And I'm, I'm looking for, I'm hoping that you'll have a great time while you're here and, and frankly with the program that I know is going to be an exciting and fulfilling one for you. So thanks for being here. Welcome to Scottsdale. And wherever you're living right now, just reconsider and rethink uh, where you are and think about being here with us. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Mr. Mayor, that was wonderful. And you know, today it's about learning about each other and about learning about our industry. And you know, I'm very, very proud that both Mayor Lane and Mayor Lewis um, are gonna be joining us at the Bio International Convention in San Diego next week where the world comes together. And in addition to that, um, we're going to take an educational tour of Pfizer in La Jolla and actually get to see 
how drugs are made at one of the, by one of the largest drug companies in the world. So we're really, really excited that our leaders in Arizona are so interested, not just in our industry and what it can bring to their cities and what it can bring to their state, but they're also very, very interested in learning about us and how we work and what we need. And we're extremely appreciative to both Mayor Lane and Mayor Lewis um, for joining, as we say, the team and uh, joining us next week in San Diego to help tell Arizona's story globally.